Welcome to the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, where rude mechanicals do magic. Hello, I'm Bronze Age, Director of the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage. And today we're going to be repairing this glass front door, which came to us with uh, the glass already broken out and one corner broken as well. Now what we have here is a failed bridle joint. And that's a fairly common kind of joint in uh, this sort of lightweight frame. Originally, we did have the good old mortise and tenon joint. The tenon here, the hole, the mortise. And uh, that was a very strong joint, especially when uh, you couldn't rely on the glue. You could put pegs through here to hold it together, and it resisted racking and twisting and all other kinds of problems. In all other words, a pretty good joint for all purposes. It is expensive to make. So that led to what they call just the punch joint, where you got this little short mortar tenon that just goes into the same groove that the panel goes in. That would be strictly held together with glue. But it was an easy joint to make in a factory with machine tools. The bridle joint is something halfway in between. And it's named after the way a bit of a horse's bridle goes into the horse's mouth. Is that you've got a tenon and uh, not really a mortise, more of a slot. And it simply goes together like that. The advantages here is that not only can it still be made fairly quickly with uh, machine tools, it's got a lot more glue surface than our uh, other piece did. And so for lightweight frames, especially those going to be holding glass, um, that became the preferred method. Of course, our problem is, is that uh, it broke off. And I see by this little dot right here, there's probably a nail in there. Take my rear earth magnet and Oops, yep, it found the nail. So the first problem will be how to repair this and not tear up any uh, of my good bits on this nail. Now if this was a broken screw, like something from a hinge, I would probably use uh, my homemade plug cutter, which would drill down there deep enough to where I could pry it out. But since this is just a nail, if I could just get a hold of the head, I should be able to pull it out without too much trouble. And there we go. The plan is to mend this corner with this insert, a little piece of oak that I cut out with a hole saw. Drill a hole here and then glue it across the seam with uh, epoxy. Now ordinarily I'd want to put this on a drill press table, but this big flimsy frame like this I'd be rigging up scaffolding. 
take up way too much time. So I think I can do this by hand. Well, this is Bronze Age for the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage. I appreciate you sticking through this video with me and uh, really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe and I hope to see you again in the next video.